Getting up. Hey, Murdoch. Hey, Rhino. Hey, Abby. <clears throat> so, training went well yesterday. Brooke knows the basics. <laughs> Good. <laughs> there was a really good moment where, like, we're just teaching to i'm just showing her the basics and she gets it and i'm like all right so now that you've understood how to block you understand how to jump you understand how to attack training begins now hmm. she's fucking are you chip send... are you allowed hmm? to send me ozu's oc i don't know you'd have to ask ozu big mac ozu hasn't been on Mind you, there's still one small I haven't done yet. Wonder who this nerd ass is. <laughs> who? Could be fucking anyone. Could be fucking anybody. God, happy Pride Month. Probably someone no one really cares for. That's true, Rhino. That's is very true. Damn. I don't even know why I'm making them a small. <laughs> oh. Okay, I just checked your stream. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you ingest my penis, Susie Doodle Tones? Oh, wait, I forgot. <laughs> you can't. You're a lesbian. I mean, listen, I might have been.
<clears throat> You're gonna learn how to change oil in your car? Good luck. What was the question? Um, <clears throat> no, someone in my chat was just like, they're, they're gonna learn how to change oil in their car today. I was like, good luck. Oh, neat. I don't imagine it's that difficult, but I don't know. I'm not a car person. I'm not from cars. Yeah, I know. <laughs>
<laughs> Every server you're in is raving over either Lechonka, the professors, cheese. Again, Pokemon really did just say let them have Pride Month. Are you a bad person for wanting to eat Lechonk? No, I don't think so. Because again, the people in the Pokemon world eat Pokemon. That is like confirmed canon. By the way, sorry if I seem so distracted, like I'm tapping out a lot. I've got someone in my DMs messaging me. Damn. What is it, you girlfriend? No. It's someone messaging me about my collectathon threat that I put this, uh... I put on Twitter this morning. Oh. Okay. The word thread took a little bit to register. I thought you said my collectathon threat. My collectathon threat. Give me more collectathons or I'll I'll Fuck your wives. <laughs> I'll eat your Doritos. I don't know. Uh, I'll eat your wife. <laughs> your wife. God. God. <clears throat> Apparently, IGN called, um, Sonic Frontiers a fucking walking sim. <laughs> Dude, I am... As a longtime Sonic <clears throat> fan, I am incredibly cautiously optimistic. Like, I think the, like, the way Sonic controls looks very good. I think he looks like he's fun to run around with. Level design is... <clears throat> Anyway, uh, I think the game looks okay. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen anything from Sonic Frontier since the stream that it was announced in. <laughs> Damn. They, well, they released a bunch of gameplay yesterday, so. And they're going to do release yeah. some today. Yeah, I don't really pay that much attention to Sonic, you know that. I do eventually get around, uh, plan to get around playing SA2 at some point. That day is not right now, but at some point I'll, I'll play that and eventually, I don't know, maybe I'll play Mania because, uh, what was it, Sarah bought me that like years ago. That is my, played it. currently my favorite Sonic game. By the sounds of it, it's a lot of people's favorite Sonic games. Like, like... Mania is... <laughs> one of those games where it's so good that like not even my nostalgia can like rationalize you know 
fuck? Because <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, fucking Sonic and the Black Knight was one of the first video games I ever truly fell in love with and was a uh, a great experience for me and uh, is, is one that despite people saying, that it could have been a lot better. I personally think it's great the way it is. Uh, no, Sonic Mania is just better. It, it's just the better game. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Maybe I'll get around to playing it. Because as I said, Sarah did buy it for me. But I'm just yeah. not a Sonic person. Like. Well, good thing it's a collectathon. It's not. Well, what is the definition of a collectathon? The definition of a collectathon is fucking weird and obscure by everyone else. Okay, wait. Fucking... Actually, my, here's a better question. Um, does something count as a collectathon when you need to collect something for a specific ending or just for com for progression at all? Progression at all. Oh, okay, then it's not. Yeah, no, cuz I'm not going to count. I'm not going to sit here and and say that like uh, what is it? Crash Ban- Crash Bandicoot's not a collectathon, to put it that way. Uh, I mm. highly contest the constant, uh, referral to- to Bubsy as a collectathon, because it's not. Um, I'm not gonna- like, I wouldn't call, like, Croc Legend of Gobos a collectathon, because it's, like, the collection- the- the collecting aspect is not a part- or is not a pivotal part of the gameplay, it's not a pivotal part of progression. Okay. And that's kind of what I've been running into this morning as I'm looking for more games for the Collectathon series. I'm running into a bunch of games that have collectibles and therefore are considered Collectathons by that mo or by that very, like, mantra, but it shouldn't. And that's Man. why I put out my thread this morning. My thread being... Looking for collectathon games that I've neither heard, uh, I've never heard of or played before is a goddamn nightmare. Because while there is a grasp on what a collectathon is, the actual definition doesn't seem to be fully agreed upon because there's always additional stipulations that don't overlap. A collectathon is a game where the sole focus of progression focuses on a collection of MacGuffins. This part we mostly seem to agree upon. Games like Banjo and Super Mario 64 are easy things to call back to for this. But that's where the agreement begins and ends, and I hate it. Because then we get games like Sly Cooper lumped in where, oh, you collect keys to unlock games, even though those keys are replacements of flagpoles and aren't really that important when you boil it down. Games like Bubsy 3D get lumped in a lot, but that's even less so because the rockets in that game are only there for a different ending, a la Crash Bandicoot. And games like Snake Pass, where there is kind of a collectibles goal in the form of three stone-like things, are teetering so hard on just being keys to unlock a door that it feels less like a collection and more like a basic key ring. I don't know, I just feel like there needs to be a better established definition for the genre because there's a lot of collectathons that don't really play like one. And it, it seriously bothers me. <laughs> Man, if only there was a collectathon that that I knew of that you could just play. <laughs> Man, if only I'd you have... were able to get on your Nintendo PC. You, are you referring uh, to Robobot? I'm referring or... to Forgotten Land, yes. Oh, Forgotten Land. I knew you were referring to a Kirby game. Yeah, I mean, after, Robobot after, is... After I entertained one. the... I was about to say, after I entertained the idea that Kirby that there could be Kirby Collectathon games... Suddenly, I, I've I... been a lot more interested in the concept of Collectathons. Yeah... I'll need, as I said, I'll need to replay Robobot at some point, because I'm pretty sure that can be considered a 2D collectathon, but I need to double check. Whoa! Um. Uh, and I have. Uh, it's like I. It's like I have Robobot just like. right around my. like, it's it's on my desk somewhere. <laughs> and my that, copy I mean, it's of in... Robobot is lost to the abyss, so I need to f get a new copy. Or ask Keaton if she can, like, dig around inside the abyss. But I don't want I, her. um... <clears throat> Mine's in my box with all my other games, which is, I think, right behind my monitor, so... Yeah, I could, like, just, pick, I could just try to pick up and play Robobot again at any time. Has it been... I'll, I will admit, it has been... What? 
four to five years? I don't remember. When did Robobot come out? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Point is. 16. Um, it came out in 16. 20, 2016, okay. <coughs> As opposed to what? 1916? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I said, oh, 2016, and I thought about like how I said it, and I'm like, what? As opposed to 1916? Yeah, that's when Pokemon when Diamond Poke came out. <laughs> Pokemon Diamond came out. <laughs> yeah, man. What, what even started that me? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody? Mm. So it's one of the people that we've cut off. Yeah. Okay. They said that it was a joke they made, but... Damn, this this tweet doing numbers. <laughs> Alright, uh, so um So Lab Coat 21 is officially banned from tournament play. Um and so I quote tweeted with you either die a Virgil or live long enough to see yourself become Meta Knight. <laughs> Apparently, that's it's people agree. <clears throat> okay. And there's that. Let's see. Yeah, small Susie. I could set this up real quick. Damn, I'm dying. Voice widget, streaming room. Uh, Thank you. Browser source. Copy. Browser source. User. Digital tone. Spot. Does this imply having big hips makes you penis shaped? Oh, the fucking the 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 tweet that I threw in uh Cloud Palace. And then Discord. Yeah, I saw that. This was really good.
It is complete. Yeah. <laughs> so now, if we ever decide to do something, kind of like we were talking about, we were uh, talking about this on stream yesterday, but it's like, if he never wanted to do, like, I don't know, uh, some sort of, like, D&D related thing, and I just happen to be hosting the stream, now I have a small for something like that. Or whenever we do, like, the live reactions to, like, um, to, like, E3 or some shit, I now have a small for that, too. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of potential for, for me having one, but... Mind you, this is not the, the end of what I have planned for, for my streams going forward, but this is a start. Also, if I, if I, if I, E3 does not exist anymore, not this year. Dude, I'm so happy E3 is just dead. Why? I like doing E3 streams. I mean, if it got replaced by something else, sure, but like, I personally feel like the magic of E3 for for myself personally has just been lost over the last few years. As we could just get a Nintendo Direct. Like, the stages and I the mean, shows I... don't really amount to much. Again, it's... For me, like, I understand people who, like, stream E3 and, like, really enjoy the, um, like, the, the watching all of the, the shows individually, but, like, with this deep decline in quality of the shows as a whole, as well as digital events being much more commonplace throughout the rest of the year, it makes the concept of E3 as a whole feel a lot more hollow than what it used to be. And it ends up feeling like we could have, it, it could just be like, oh yeah, it's digital event season. It could be like, it, it's like an artificial date for people to make shit for because they need to make shit for E3 when E3 as a concept has not really like existed these past few years. So why not just make like, june as a whole like the best like just the the unspoken month to get all your shit out there um instead of like making it an event i suppose That seems to be what they're going to do. Summer Games Fest leans in that direction. Fair enough. I don't know, man. I just... I thought E3 was fun. Like, the, the two times I've streamed it. That really is just, like, the thing, though. I, I watched it one year. Like, that was my first time really watching an E3. Or keeping up with an E3 was when I first streamed it, and then like the year the year after that I wasn't able to because it was 2020 and that was uh, a quarantine year. And then 2021 <coughs> happened and I streamed that and that was fun, and now 2022 is around and <laughs> so I have watched a total of two E3s ever. <laughs> <laughs> See, Doodle has made herself a doodle. I mean, yes. It is on brand, is it not? It's actually funny, because this is not the, the doodle that I use to represent myself in the doodle verse. Like, the... 
the like the actual Doodle comics actually do have like a self-insert character you guys have probably seen. The little one with like the little pink jacket. But yeah, I decided to make one for more of my closer to my Sona. Closer to how I represent myself and other pieces that I draw. But yeah, it is on a, it is on brand. Now, I've got something else that I want to set up, but I'm trying to remember what all I need to do for this. Try to set myself up more of like a, an actual PNG tuber as well while I'm here. It's because I have a really fun idea for the PNG tuber. Of course, you guys will only be able to see half of what I have planned because the other half is going to be a surprise. Man, yeah, no, Susie, if you need some collectathons to play, I highly recommend uh, Turbo and the Four Gore Land. Um, so I can finally talk about that game to you because I feel like it speaks to most of you. Huh. That's. But... I don't know why, but that sounds really ominous. Susie, you don't understand. You fucking obtain collectibles by a finding them in the level or or uh, completing missions. Well, yeah. And it's just fun. You get to fucking find a bunch of baby ducks. <laughs> Dude, it's really good. Like. Again, I need to go back and play Robobot again. Uh, again, I need to 100% it to fully see if I enjoyed it more than, uh, more than Forgotten Land. But Forgotten Land is probably my favorite 3D platformer at the moment. I would certainly like to play it regardless because it is a Kirby game and. My yeah. the, the 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 list of games from Kirby that I have not played uh, grows ever so slightly, and I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost nice. like uh, you got some 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 work to do. I've got four games. Uh, At least. No, four games. I went through it all. <laughs> I yeah. Went through the uh, list. What about Kirby Clash Deluxe? Uh, yeah. I that was on like. Oh no. Is that the one on the 3DS? That was the one on the Switch. Oh, okay. Because both yeah. Kirby Fighters and Kirby Clash got Switch ports as well. Okay. So I remember there was there was one on the there there was like a handful of games on the 3DS that uh that I picked up. Like a bunch of like the, the small games. Yeah, I remember like, there was remember there was King one where Clash. it was I remember there was one where it was like King DDD, uh, it was like a rhythm game. It was really cool. DDD Drum that. Dash, let's go! That was a very fun one. I liked that one a lot. King fucking rules! Yeah, stuff like that. I, pick, I picked up those. And those were fun. <clears throat> But yeah, um... 
Yeah, the, as far as, like, the main ones go, though, for sure. Uh, the, the games I have not played. Uh, Forgotten Land, Star Allies, uh, Rainbow Curse. Like, the, the sequel to Canvas Curse. And then, uh, Return to Dreamland. Which is the biggest crime out of all of them. I need to play Return to Dreamland. <laughs> it's true. It's the biggest fucking crime. Like, I have a fucking... How, how do I sit here and call myself a Kirby fan when I haven't even played one of the most important games in the series? Ugh. I'm a fraud. <laughs> Fake fan. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> have I played Kirby's Avalanche? Yes. Yes, I have. Played Return of Dreamland, Susie. You need to play it ASAP. I agree, but like, I don't have it. I have a Wii. It's like the Wii is in my room. It's like just across the room from me. But I don't have Return to Dreamland. <laughs> we never did pick it up. I always wanted to play it though. It was just never a game we picked up, which. I found out recently that um, the director for Return to Dreamland's only other project at the time was Superstar Ultra. Huh. This was when um, Kirby was going through a transitional phase from uh, Sakurai to Chumazaki. Um, and you'll notice that, that around the time the first True Arena came about was when Kirby started getting a lot darker. Though, I, Return to Dreamland isn't a collect-a-thon. No, but it's a Kirby game, and I want to play those, too, so. I know, but it is the only- it is- it and Star Allies are the only modern-era Kirby games that are not collectibles. At least by your definition. Because, what is it? Um, well, uh... Actually, no, technically not. Hmm. I mean, most Kirby games are not collectathons. Most. But like, I don't, I don't yeah. know about Fort Orland, but. What do you mean? You, I've talked so extensively. Well, again, I, I, I know you have, but I haven't like looked into it. I guess myself because I want to eventually play it. It's by what you're ex by what you're describing it, it it sounds like it is, but also I've learned that not everyone explains uh, collect or quote unquote collectathons correctly. So I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out. Did you Point. did you play? Like, you said that fucking what's it called? Um. I said, Robobot Robobot could, a I said Robobot yeah. could be a collectathon. Could be considered what, a collectathon. What the fuck does- what do you mean could? Like, like, is that the yes or a no? <sighs> it's- so, the thing is, is I'm trying to figure out, like, whether or not the collectible- uh, the, the collectibles are really, like, necessary? It's you like, cannot access the boss fight without them. I- 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 I know. Technically, yeah, but- also, at the same time, like, I don't consider 
what is it? Uh, Super Mario 3D, uh, 3D Land to be a collect uh, collectathon. Because for the most part, it is get from point A to point B. You like the extra coins are just extra work in order to get into the boss fight. They're not really that important at the end of the day. Um. And that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to determine with with Robobot because. If Robobot is more of like, you know, you need to collect these MacGuffins, and it's not just, oh, go back and collect these MacGuffins because, you know, we want to elongate the, the gameplay, then, it, that again, it really comes down to like how the, collect how the collectibles were done, because I don't exactly remember. I don't know, does that make sense? I guess. Cause like a game but like then... what is it? Cause cause like what is it? A game like Snake Pass. Uh, I again, it was it was a game that I had ran into this morning and looked into for a second time because I am still not entirely convinced that is a collectathon. That game, what it does is it has you collect like three little stone tablet things in order to unlock the end gate at the end of the level. But. You like it, but it's it's it, it's it's thrown in so much to where it doesn't feel like a collected like it doesn't feel like a collection of stone tablets. It's more hey these three are uh, these three things are keys that you need to collect in order to unlock the end gate. Otherwise, if we didn't have that there, you would breeze through each of these levels like they're nothing. Then what is the what would make those collectibles legitimate? Um, whether or not, uh, whether or not the, the gate that you're supposed to open, um, I guess either needs, uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to, to put it. I'm much better at, like, for some reason I'm much better at describing these through, like, text because I can think about it a little bit more than saying it, like, uh, vocally, but it's it's basically like so you know how Super Mario 64 like uh, has you unlocking these doors through like co the 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 wide collection of stars that uh, that the game has you you, you know uh, has you go through and like the stars are your end goals right the the stars are around like an open world and the game expects you to collect those stars in order to progress further on into the game. Right? Yeah. Or how uh, Banjo-Kazooie has you collect a certain amount of um, jiggies in order to, to go to like an another level in order to unlock those gates. Um, those like those collectibles are in like are imperative to the progression because if they didn't exist the game would trick with the game would change dramatically whereas with something like i don't know well i i guess yeah going back to snake pass if those keys were not there the gameplay wouldn't change that dramatically it would just become shorter And that's fair. That's because it's like, because throwing in our uh, throwing in arbitrary collectibles while is, you know, while is is not a bad thing by any means. It doesn't suddenly make the game a collectathon. And I think another good example of that, um, I was looking into like Demon Turf this morning. Uh, and I think the second game in, uh, the, the second game in that series, uh, the, the Neon one, uh, is a, is another good example, where it's like, they want you to, they, they want you to, to go through, uh, they want you to go through the, the, the level, uh, a certain, a certain way in order to collect certain things, but if you didn't have those collections, you'd just be going through a very... If you didn't have that collection, the game would become just a linear platformer. 
Okay. Which is why I'm, uh, which is why I'm like, I need to kind of reevaluate Robobot. Because Robobot could be a collectathon. It could be one of the rare examples of a 2D collectathon. Um, but I'd have to, like, reevaluate how the collectibles work in that. Because I know there's an end goal. Yeah. So that's like, go that makes it a little yeah. bit harder to, to, to justify it. But, like, if the collectibles don't feel, like, arbitrarily slapped in, then, yeah, I could probably consider Robobot one. But I'd have to, as I said, I'd have to reevaluate because it has been a while. Yeah, I know that, um, you unlock, like, more, you unlock, like, an extra stage if you get all the code cubes in an area. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and then there's the, the, what's it called, the stickers. Yeah. Uh, and each, yeah, and each stage has, like, the special sticker. I, God. Dude, I love the stickers in that game. The fucking, um, the, the scribble ones. Like scribble <laughs> yeah, the stick. Is so good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember those. I, 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 yeah, my, my two stickers were Susie and Scribble Dee Dee. Technically, a lot of oh, the earlier God. ones required you to get all the collectibles to beat the game. Dreamland 2, 3, and I believe 64. Actually, no. A, uh, a lot of were, earlier. Those a were lot of earlier like, the final boss. Oh my god, it's so so fucking yeah. bad. Dreamland Dreamland 2 and 3, uh yeah. Well Dream yeah, Dreamland 2, 3, and 64, the collectibles there are ultimately arbitrary because you could beat the game without collecting anything. You don't get a good yeah. ending doing it, but it is still an ending. Um it's kind of why uh, it's kind of why Crash Bandicoot isn't really considered a collectathon. It's it's just a linear platformer going from point A to point B. Um, where in the the, the 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 gems and stuff are ultimately optional. They're not they're not really required. It's why I wouldn't. It's why I definitely wouldn't like even think about. Return to Dreamland being a collect fun despite like the uh, the energy spheres in that game because like all those unlock are extras. That's that's it. Um But like I guess with Forgotten Land, like there's because you're at the end of the day or at the end of each level, like you are collecting three Waddle Dees. So, like the, what is it, the, um, collectibles are inherently tied to the progression in the same way as, like, Mario Galaxy, but then you also have the extra ones you find, and then for, uh, the, the extra ones you get from Mission. Huh. There are also just, like, a shit ton of collectibles in that game, like, in general. And, like, progress isn't necessarily tied to, um, to, uh, what's it called, uh, like, the, the blueprints or the, um, or the, the gachapon machines, but, like, they're cool, they're based, I like gun. Does it take me count as a collectathon? Not, mm. Does Pikmin count as a collectathon? I'm trying to remember what the what the progression oh. is for Pikmin. Uh, Pikmin, you ha okay? So you're lucky that I'm here because uh, there's the resident Pikmin expert. Um, in the first I mean, game you're, you're collecting. Yeah, in, in in the first game you're collecting your ship parts. There's 30 of them. You need to get 25, and then um, when you get a certain amount in each area, you can go to the next area. You're running around these this this big world, trying to find uh, the the collectibles, i.e. the ship parts, and they are tied to your progression. Well, that's a better case for that's that's a better case for Pikmin to be a collectathon, yeah. Um, that's a pretty good case for it. Yeah, I'd say yeah both. I'd say all three games are, are collectathons then, because Pikmin 2, you have to, um, well, okay, 
Pikmin 2 is half a collect-a-thon because for the first part, you have to collect treasures to get over 10,000 Pokos. Um, and like you can't, there's no like end of stage stuff. Well, I mean, they're like little dungeons, but yeah, there are dungeons. They're, they're, it's still like, they're not like um, levels in the same way that like, what it is for like Mario Galaxy. Where, like, yes, you do get treasure at the end, but you, um, like, you can leave at any time, and you don't have to beat it. Um, you can just get as much treasure as you want and just bail. Um. That, uh, that one might be a bit more content uh, contentious than if you don't... I don't know. What do you mean? Like... Maybe I miss her, but, like, you can just kind of leave the level at whenever. Oh, no, like, basically there are little holes in the ground, and they'll put you in dungeons. Like, where you just go through floors, and you'll, um, you'll, uh, like, find treasures. But those are, like, placed around the open world. Okay. So it, it's, it's the same as Pikmin 1, except there are also little dungeon areas. Okay. There are also little scrunklies. Oh yeah, now there's, uh, there's, four, there's four on the screen. It is I, the ghost of Christmas present. Yeah. I just wanted to come oh, in yeah. here to let you all know that Bakugan Defenders of the Core is a collectathon, and I will not hear any criticism. What the fuck? Shut what up! The... <laughs> I was about to say, what is what is the progression to that? It fucking level no. It's not a fucking <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I, I don't know anything about the level. You have to collect your opponent's face at the end of each level by beating the shit out of them. Oh, that doesn't count then. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I yeah, by the way, I'm like, yeah, you're trying to convince people to add more collectathons if there's a good time. <laughs> you collect a bunch of good memories along the way. <laughs> I wanna Dude, collect... what if? Okay. I have an idea. Hmm. What if... Burp. But yeah. But yeah, there's, there's, it sounds like there's a pretty good case for Pikmin to be a collectathon. I don't, I, I admittedly don't know very much about the series myself, so that's probably why it didn't come to my mind immediately. Yeah, I. But there's, Pikmin, there's a pretty good case for it by the sounds of it. Yeah, Pikmin three, I don't think I would, because while the, the, um, the, uh, collectibles are necessary for survival. They aren't necessary for progression. Yeah, okay. Like, obviously so it sounds like a tie that- fucking dead, but... Yeah, so it sounds like a tie the Tasmanian Tiger 3, where the first two games are- uh, uh, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, where the first two games are collect-a-thons, but the third one is an action- <laughs> is an action, uh, platformer. Yeah, like, the, um... Pikmin 3 is- Way more like story based. Story like, um, based. Like, okay. Story based on what? Based on the plot of 2001: A Space Odyssey, except instead of the HAL 9000 being evil, it's the planet and Louie. Louie. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, so I just. I don't Context, I just love that sentence. The planet is evil and Louie. Right <laughs> yeah, I know. Louie's like a real piece of shit. <laughs> no. He runs off with all of your shoes like a fucker. It's like, oh, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna kill three people. <laughs> so as the ghost, But you can play as Louie in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate! Is Super Smash Brothers what? Ultimate technically a collectathon? No. Let's find out. No. You're the one who could be argued as a collectathon. 
It's World of Light a collectathon. That's just no. a theory. A game theory. But you put no, you okay. by okay. necessary heroes to progress. There are necessary heroes to progress, but that's because they're in the way of other things that are necessary to for progression. It's like for instance, I don't consider what is it? Uh necessary. Well, I, I was gonna say, I, I was gonna bring up, like, another example from, like, a different series. Uh, I wouldn't call Sonic it, uh, yeah, I wouldn't call SA1, uh, like, or I wouldn't call Sonic Adventure 1 a collectathon just because of the Knuckles segments. <laughs> I think they're pretty base. Oh, they're, they're, they're fun, much. but I wouldn't call, I, 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 they're fun, but I wouldn't call them, like, I wouldn't call the game a collectathon segments. <laughs> Actually, are they? Are they really? Like, kinda. If you want to get to, I guess the, the 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 big boss, but like ultimately, technically, you could do all the other stories and and just never touch Knuckles. <laughs> Technically no, speaking. No, uh, big as a collectathon. Big, big as a collectathon, you have to get froggy. No, because that's only that's <laughs> big as a fishing game. It's a collectathon fishing. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. Um. E one o e uh e one o two gamma is a collectathon. You have to collect the souls of your brethren. My favorite collectathon is. <laughs> For your first challenge, you must collect big harvest. Him. <laughs> 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 All right, campers. Your first collectathon challenge is collecting the will to go on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, you it's see. like. Yeah, no, I, I, I do find it kind of tiring to when, when going to look for new collectathon games, just to see, like, whatever game has a collect- like, has a collectible, like, aspect to it. Like, Pokemon's not a collectathon, guys! Come on! So oh, you gotta catch them all! No! <laughs> Journal! In Pokemon Legends Arceus, there's a mechanic where you- can't move to the next area unless you have enough research points. That and you actually, get those by like, catching Pokemon. Wait, no, he's not wrong. I'm not wrong. In Pokemon Leg, you do have to collect shit in order to progress. Well, how 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 is it that you get research points then? You have um, to get Pokemon. Catch Pokemon. You, uh, interact with Pokemon in various ways, um, like, you, you, uh, it's, it's like, it's kind of mission-based, but, like, most missions boil down to catch enough of these Pokemon. Or, like, look at Ooh. them doing a certain move. Yeah. Or, like, kill enough of them with fire. <laughs> that's my favorite one. Well, then that so that still sounds different. more like... That still sounds more like RPG, then. Because by yeah, that... It's an RPG. Of a collector. Well, no, because by, by <laughs> how you're describing it, you don't need to collect. You just need to uh, rake up enough, like, research points, or in this case, experience points, in order to... To, to be able to, like, you know, continue your journey. Well, no, literally, it, like, gates you. Unless you collect Does shit. It? Yeah, it, it actually gates you. Mm -hmm. You can't progress until you, like, get enough research points via, like... Yeah, I know. Catch it, and, like, Fucking... you can't start researching a Pokemon unless you catch them. 
Yeah, no, like, there's a point, there's, like, some points where the game will be like, nah, -uh, you can't move on, you don't have enough research points, you idiot, you absolute buffoon. Guess that'll be another game I'm gonna have to look into. Cause I'm not entirely Pokemon sure. Pokemon for the Nintendo PC! Hell yeah. Dude, no. I can't My friend said good okay. things about the PC port of Legends Arceus. Pokemon Snap is a collectathon. You collect memories. No, Bennett. God, this is this is why <laughs> this is why I think there needs to be a more established definition. This My... this exact this exact conversation right here is why I wish there was a more cemented definition, like a more spelled out definition for everyone of what a collectathon is, because this conversation right here always devolves the exact same way. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what, Susie Tones? My bed is a collectathon. It. I go to bed. It turns into Mario 64. I I collect dreams. I guess maybe I don't know. I I just want to go to bed. Super Mario Sunshine is my favorite collectible. You collect Delfino Plaza. <laughs> Super Mario in real life. Wait! No, never mind. I was, it, it's fucking Shadow Mario is tied to progression. Fuck that game. <laughs> what? Mario Sunshine. Sunshine's a collectathon. But Shadow Mario. Do you not collect the shines in order to progress through the game? I'm more thinking about how, like, you can't. Like the thing that is lock that like locks you behind finishing it is, like the fact that you like have to j just kill Shadow Mario in, in every stage. Like the shines in that game don't really like mean oh. anything past Shadow Mario. God, this mm -hmm. is now the second. This is now the second time I've heard like a legitimate argument against a uh, uh, one of the 3D Mario games being a collectathon. The first time was Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, no, um... Yeah, cause like... Huh. The, the, the difference the, is, you you need a specific number in order no, for... No, with, cause with Galaxy, right? Hold on, with with Galaxy? The, the, ar the, the legitimate argument there was, like, oh, it, with, with, the, with the, the stars in that game, you know, if you replace those with flagpoles, it's not really gonna change much. Yeah. Like, they, they, you, the, the stars, the star aspect of the the quote-unquote collectathon is ultimately arbitrary because yeah if you replace them with flagpoles that's not really gonna mean much at that point you're just doing a, a, enough missions to unlock the next area it doesn't really feel like the collectible aspect is is worth anything yeah and that's why with like with sunshine yes if you get enough of the collectibles you do progress in the game but it will block you off until you beat mission seven of every world. The, the big difference is, like, it's kind of like what I was saying before with Pikmin Two, where Pikmin Two is is like a collectathon to a point, because once you get ten thousand Pocos, you go back, and the only thing you need to do is find Louis. I think the, the difference why I, is well, I could see that you still need a specific. It's now. Anyway, I am at work. Goodbye. I, I feel I feel like that argument, th that particular argument, could be made against like Super Mario sixty four two, and no, not at all. Because uh, Super Mario 64 is very much an open world game, whereas most uh, most of of uh, galaxies, like stars, are very linear. So with 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 Galaxy, it expects you to go from here to here to here to here. There is a point A to point B kind of style of gameplay, where the stars ultimately amount to, I don't know, like the keys from from Sly Cooper. They're not, like, it's not the fact that they're not important, but they're not, it's not important in the sense that it feels like you're going out and collecting the things. With Super Mario 64, you're placed into an open world kind of area, um, and those stars 
are your goals. Those stars become like your the the, the thing that you're striving to collect. Whereas with Galaxy, it's a lot more linear. If that makes sense. At the end of the day, with Galaxy, if you replaced a lot of the stars, or most of the stars, if not all of them, with flagpoles, you get relatively the same game. It's not really that big of a deal. Whereas with Mario 64, if you replace those with flagpoles, you are changing the very core nature of the game. Galaxy 2 has a collectathon element in, the, in Green Stars. Yeah, but it also still plays very linear overall. Like, <clears throat> as I said, it's it's kind of very akin to that of Sly Cooper because Sly Cooper, technically speaking, you're collecting the keys. And technically speaking, you need to go through all of those levels in order to collect those certain keys to unlock a gate. But you. It, it's very downplayed as far as like a quote-unquote collectathon goes to the point I don't know if it even really should be considered a collectathon because if you took out those keys and just replaced them with an end goal at the end of the day what you're doing is you're just doing a certain amount of missions in order to uh, progress further into the game it's not the collectible aspect becomes kind of a secondary thing it's just uh, it, it, it's just a narrative device that gives you an excuse to go through these levels. Also, counter-argument, I, I did your mom last night to get her green stars. <laughs> I don't know, does I that make sense? Like like <laughs> mm. I mean... I understand that but with sly like there's an order i guess no there's not you can do any of the levels in any order um like so basically what it is is you get like this first hub area and then there's like a gate here you're expected to do like say three levels in order to unlock the first gate which will bring you to a second area which just has more uh more levels connected to it you're supposed to then go in and do those individual levels so you can unlock the third gate, which brings you to the boss. Galaxy plays very, very similar to, to that. But you can't... Yeah. But with Sly Cooper, you have to... fight. Yeah. You, 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 it's, you're, you're stuck in in an air in an area until you know you you beat the boss and once you beat the bo beat that boss uh that's more or less it until uh that's more that's more or less it you can't go back there's nothing like yeah oh i think rage scholar put it best rage scholar put it best Linear missions versus lateral goals. And with Galaxy, it's very much linear missions. Like, you're just doing a certain amount of missions to get to the next area. It's, it doesn't really feel like you're going into a level to collect. It feels like you're going to a level to get through a level. I don't know. Because with... I still say it's it, it it does uh the idea of a collectible a little more than oh, something it, like Sly. Oh, it does it it does it more than Sly, but it's still I after hearing that conversation, I have a little bit harder time calling Galaxy a collectathon, uh just because of yeah, its nature is. I mean, I guess a pseudo collectathon, if anything, but I'm. I'm not a big fan of just going around calling things pseudo collectathons because then there comes to be that whole other conversation that follows it. Oh, you know, uh, why why is a pseudo collectathon not a collectathon at that point? You know, and it's like I don't I don't want to get into that conversation because that's a that's a headache. You know what? Speaking of speaking of ways to not get into that conversation, 
Did you know that the demo for Spark the Electric Jester 3, I won't argue, is actually a collectathon and legit actually this time and not just as a joke? Uh, I don't actually know very much about Spark the Electric Jester 3. I knew about 1 and 2, and 1 and 2 played very, uh, very akin to that of, like, uh, Sonic games, very point A to point B, with the extra, um, yeah. the added bonus of, like, Kirby, which is also very typically point A to point B. Uh, so I don't know very much about the third game, though. So, you see, here's the cool thing about the third game. The third game controls basically, like, the second game, but more. And here's the interesting thing. Uh, the demo is just, like, the first, I wanna say, five or six levels? And one boss, but to get to the boss, you gotta get enough of the cool battle thing, and you'd get those by beating levels. What are those levels like? Oh, hold on. Hey, thank you for the raid, Luminary. Stardust incoming, huh? Thank you. You're pretty cool. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the chat, everyone. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, I'm just kind of making myself a little PNG tuber avatar, uh, and we're talking about uh, collectathons as a genre and how we desperately need a much more cemented definition of them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hope, hopefully you had a hopefully you guys had a good stream. Uh, what did you stream? Adorable art style. I mean, it's, it's there. an adorable art style. It's TP a style. agree with me. It's an adorable art style. <laughs> <laughs> you were working on an emo. Oh, fun. Look, I'm gonna be honest, Doodle, I think I gotta say it, because nobody else will. The limited 3D graphics on this stream are so charming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I'm making myself a PNG tuber because I can't always sit there with, uh, with a VTuber avatar. Uh, I have, like, a VTuber avatar, but it, like, drains my computer. <laughs> Man, I so, feel about that. So I'm making myself a PNG tuber, um, to kind of combat that. You're off to work, but have a great stream. Alright. Have a good day at work. You're deep here. Yes. I cannot wait for Sonic Frontiers to come out so that I can play through it, and then once I do, I can determine whether or not I can go up to Doodle Tones and be like, hey, Sonic Frontiers is a collectathon. So far, there hasn't been a, a Sonic game that is. Has, there hasn't been a Sonic game that's a collectathon. The closest you get yeah. are like the Sonic Adventure segments uh, with, with Knuckles and I guess Rouge in the second game. That's oh, the yeah. closest you get. Because, like, we got like seven whole minutes of gameplay, and from what I can tell, there's a lot of puzzles where you can collect shit in the open world. And now I'm gonna. Now we just gotta wait to ask the pivotal question of what if what he's collecting is necessary for plot progression. Because if it is, that's that's uh, that's the one. Mm
hear an echo, Big Mac? I don't know who that might be from. Because obviously it wouldn't be me. You would know if it was me. Well, I'm the ghost of Christmas present, so I don't fucking know, man. Dude. Dude, can you guys believe that they finally let Joe Biden into BTS? Finally. Dude, it was only a matter of time, really. You're gonna get going this after 3 a.m.? Oh yeah, go to go to bed, Risen. Fucking Christ, get a healthy sleep schedule. Fucking stay up till 11.30. Think about all the shit that led you here. Dude, we gotta ask the hard-hitting questions. What? I swear I had the perfect bit, and then my brain was like, nah, you're gonna forget that shit, so now I'm gonna remember it. <laughs> no, hold on, no, I remember my bit. Thank God. Uh, do you think Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Pyramid of Light is based on a true story? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, look, you don't know. I mean, man, maybe there's an incident wherein two American teenagers are playing a card game and they got trapped inside an evil blue pyramid of doom. I don't know. It happens. That it does. I think we kind of strayed away from the collectathon topic enough. I I do. I think ultimately the the thing comes down to. I wish there was a more cemented like definition of what a collectathon is, because finding new collectathon games uh is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Because then you get games like, or you, you get games that pop up like Croc and Snake Pass and uh, Demon Turf and I don't know. First oh, Demon Croc Turf maybe. Real? First, first Demon Turf maybe. I've I've looked into it. It kind of looks what neat or it kind of looks like a collectathon, but. Demon Turf 2, definitely not. For sure, for sure. Hey, Dragonite. Oh, good day. Don't mind me, I'm just contorting and twisting my mass as I see fit. Are you still in bed? I'm still in bed, I've not gotten up. Why do you think I sound like the ghost of Christmas past? Well, you're all fine. If you're gonna commentate on my fucking bed, maybe I'll get out of it. What, what do you think of that? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm 50% off the bed. I'm falling.
I don't want to sell my bed. I don't want to sell my bed either. That's too important. I do need a new bed though. I've had the same bed for too long. Fucking box springs are fucking busted. So Sarah died, rice and pepperoni, yeah. Keep standing up with your eyes open on the ceiling. Oh god, no. So far I don't even know if that's possible. You know, not to jinx it or anything, but for like the past three or four days, at least since I started working on the uh, on the, the the little doodles for everyone, my tablet has not been glitching out that much. Not to jinx it or anything. That's that's a good sign in my book. I don't know what happened for like the first while of it doing that, the, the past month that it was doing that. Maybe it was like the plug or something, so I plugged it into a different USB port, so maybe that's what did it. I don't know though. I haven't been doing it since then though, which is good. Knock on wood, yeah. I don't think my desk is actually made of wood, but that's all I've got. Uh, Murdoch asks, TP, what are you sipping into? Sipping? Apparently, it sounds like you're sipping. I don't know. I don't hear it, but... Chat's asking, what are you sipping into? See, you guys are not gonna see the full PNG tubers. I yeah, don't I, think I don't understand. You guys are not going to see the full PNG tuber, so I don't think I need to make the legs. Just have it as like a bust shot like that. There's a sipping noise every few seconds. I don't know. As I said, I don't hear it. Could be the lo-fi that I'm playing. Did you mistake TP for the, the background music? So that's really funny, actually. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. TP is lo-fi, uh, what is it? Lo-fi hip-hop radio beats to relax and study to. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Genie Corpse can fix issues like that because it's going through something can't handle data being transferred and can cause problems. Yeah. That might have been the problem. TBH. 
Because it hasn't, as I said, it hasn't happened since. Which is good. Holy shit, TP to relax and study to. I don't know, do you guys think TP's commentaries could be... Fucking... Something to, to study and relax to? No. You don't think so? I don't think so. I know mine have been said to to be like good to good to fall asleep to. I've been told that people have fallen asleep to my commentaries before. And you know what? Valid. I'm pretty boring. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not- I didn't start it with this, because this is much better. Because then I don't have to color again. Welcome to- Toodle is kind of a moron. Yeah, this is so much easier than how I was initially doing it. And I still fucked it up. Cause guess who's on the wrong layer? That's right. Me! It's bitch. No, I was. Do you have soda machines at your schools? Uh, high school. Why? <laughs> you know, I have extra time. I could probably. I could. Pro 
probably work on part two. This PNG tuber. But I also don't want to spoil the surprise. Wait, I didn't hear. I wasn't listening. What? Uh, I, was, I was talking about. It's like, I could sit here and, and work on part two of the PNG tuber, but I also don't want to spoil the surprise. What do you mean? What do you mean? Because I have an idea for my PNG tuber that would be really funny, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. Is it Wulu Tones? No. Don't worry about what it is. Because it's not going to really affect you. you don't... You're not like a regular on my streams. Just in the stream early, too. Let's not. Let's see. Who's, who's streaming right now? Who is. Who is streaming? Uh, no one that I want to rate actually right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Wait, let me see if there's any. Finish. No. no Wait. I'm before, before. How are we gonna end the stream? Uh, simple, like this.